Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Oldham now. Um, we're just in February now. Uh, we've just done the first half of the season, um, and yeah, um, 2017 now. So I'll just take you through everything. Uh, transfers first. Uh, going out and Tam left on a free. He's at Cheltenham now. Um, just I don't. It wasn't good enough anymore, and his contract ran out. Danny Redmond left. He wanted a really high wage, so I just sort of let him go. Um, currently playing for Wickham now. Who, where are they? They're in League 2, so a bit of a step down, which is quite annoying, seeing as he wouldn't sign for us, but would sign for them. Emmy Hughes left on a free, along with Johnson, Clark Harris, Chris Sutherland, Bradley Halliday, Jordan Hark, and Jen Serik Kasunga. Then uh, James Dayton left for Kilmarnock for 15k, and then this January, Gary Martin left for Burton for 21k, and City Smelts left for Notts County for 40k. Uh, coming in. Keen Bryan uh, came on on loan. He's left mid. Um, isn't really playing as much. Not the best player, um, but he's all right for cover, um, seeing as they're affiliates. Kike, as you know, joined from Espanyol. Uh, been playing well. Been one of the starting centre backs. Dan Grican or Grisan, uh came in from RNK Split, and he's been playing well this season. Um, took a while to get into it, but now he's doing well. Uh, we loaned Luke Lelewin from uh, Swansea. He can play anywhere up the left and a right back, so he's been very good cover at slash starting. Um, those were the transfer sort of players, and then we brought in uh, Kayo on a free. He was released by Tottenham, um, Brazilian centre mid slash defensive mid. He's only 19, got some good stats there, so I thought to uh, just go for it, seeing as he's only £250 a week, so he's in the 21s at the moment. Then we signed Jeff Luis, a uh, Haitian attacking midfielder slash midfielder who looks good for cover um, then we signed uh, Joseph Kubala from Slovakia who's got some very good stats there 21 years old um, corner 17 19 determination 16 leadership uh, mainly attacking midfielder but he can also play striker or centre mid so he looks good and then we actually signed um, Nestoras Misiris uh, on loan from Man City as well as a centre mid slash defensive mid uh, the really th weird thing is, uh, they signed him from uh, Aris for 155k. We actually found him. Like I have to say, I, I, I didn't take credit for this. I found him and I trialed off of him, and he rejected me, and that brought everyone's attention to him. And then he got signed by Man City. So I'm gonna say that's me. But um, yeah, um, coming in at the end of the season, um, as you know, Andre Hartman is uh, probably won't be good enough anymore. But then we also signed uh, Mirko Torina from Zagreb, under 19. So he's going to be coming in on a free. He's a mainly attacking midfielder. He's got some good stats there. These two are just like these new players of punts as well. Don't know how good they'd be, but just he looks good at the moment. And then also at Ninad uh, Savitkovic. He looks good at centre mid also. Um, he looks pretty good. He's got some good stats there. Hopefully the rest are okay. But yeah, so let's just take you through the fixtures really. Um, started off very well, 1-0 win against Rotherham, Adam Rooney with the first goal there, 2-1 versus York, Adam Rooney in an own goal, uh, put us through there, 0-0 nil -nil versus Sheffield Wednesday, um, they are sort of uh, playoffs contenders, so not a bad game, beat Blackpool 2-0 though, uh, Afizunis did it also get sent off, but um, we scored from Corey Smith and an own goal, 0-0 nil -nil versus Mansfield, Mansfield, who we really should have beaten, we lost to Newcastle 1-0 in, um, in the Capital World Cup second round. Really unlucky. 117th minute, Yango and Buyes scored from a corner. I thought we could hold up to penalty penalties because we played so well, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. 2-1 um, versus Barnsley. Kike with his first goal for the club, along with uh, Ben Szczesnis for his first goal of the season. Hasn't been playing that much. Um, then we had the Johnstone to Paint Trophy, North first round versus Walsall. Abadie Takis and Nick Morgan with the goals there. 1-1 versus Crew. Uh, Adam Rooney with the goal there. And then they scored in the 90th minute, actually. Crew see, have a seen thing to do that against us. Um, I shall see you later on. But then we bounce back with a 5-0 win over Chesterfield. Uh, Grassan with two. Afizunidis, Rooney and Abadie Takis, who has been playing amazing this season, just tell you now. Port Vale, we beat 4-1 away. Um, Nick Morgan with a hat-trick and George Saville. Um, with a goal there to give us the win. 0 0 versus Shrewsbury. First loss of the season versus Swindon. 1 0. Um, really disappointing. 
Um, but they did dominate the game, so we deserved it. We bounced back, though, against Tranmere 3-1. Rooney, Aberdeen, and Smith with our goals there. Then we had the second round of the Johnstone's Paint Trophy North versus Port Vale again. Luke Lelouin with the goal there. 1-1 um, versus Sheffield United, um, an own goal. And then 1-1 versus Rochdale. Dokowski with our goal there. Then we got uh, back onto winning ways with a 3-2 win over Fleetwood. Grassan and Rooney with two. And then Crawley, who came up, um, we beat 3-0, who've actually been doing pretty well. An own goal and Chesnes and Rooney with the goals. But, yeah, they're in the playoffs, actually, um, to ruin a little bit. Uh, Sheffield United, we beat 2-1. Um, in the first round, Grandolfo and Morgan. Bristol City, we drew 1-1 with. Rooney with the goal there. Sunderland, we somehow beat 5-2. Bit weird here. Um, Smith, Lewin, an own goal. Abity Attackis and Tarkowski. They did have a man sent off, but they've really just dropped. So, yeah. Then we had the uh, North Quarter Final of the Johnson St. Payne Trophy. 1-0 versus Hartlepool. An own goal. Keep us through there. FA Cup second round versus Bristol City, we beat 2-0. Rooney and Grandolfo. 0-0 uh, versus Bradford. Uh, quite a frustrating game, really, really should have won it. 2-0 versus Stevenage. Morgan and Rooney, again. And then we had the 4-3 uh, game against uh, Rotherham for the semi-final. Um, they had a man sent off and then scored two after that, which puts it up a bit of a nervy end after we were 4-1 up. Grandolfo with two. Grissan and Abadi attackers with goals there. We then lost 2-0 to uh, MK Dons. Two goals in two minutes from Adam McGurk. Gave us them the win. We couldn't t get anything from that. Uh, Hartley Bull, we beat 2-0. Uh, Kubala was his first goal for the club, along with uh, Nick Morgan. Then we beat uh, Bournemouth 3-0, which is quite good. Rooney with two, and O'Shaughnessy with one. Doncaster, we beat 4-2. Uh, Aberdeen Attackers with two, and Rooney with two. Sheffield Wednesday, drew 1-1 with. O'Shaughnessy with the goal. 3-1 versus Rotherham. Jeff Louise with his first goal. Or Louis. Adam Rooney and Grandolfo also. 3-3 versus Blackpool here. Grandolfo with a hat-trick, but it wasn't enough to give us the win. Then we played uh, Man City, and we lost 2-1. We took the lead from Grassan early on. Milgan did get sent off late on, but Nkula and Dzeko got two goals in the last 20 minutes to give him the win. And Aguero missed the penalty, but what are you going to do against a team like that? Like, John Stones, Nkulu... Martins Indy, uh, Goretzka, Milner, Sigurdsson, David Silva, Jekko, Joe Hart on the bench, Victor Fisher, Nazari, and Aguero as substitutes. It's just ridiculous. We won't get, it was a really close game, so I'm quite happy with the way we played. Um, we then beat Mansfield 3 0. Uh, Grandolfo, Lelouin, and Abbey Diatakis. 0 0 versus Shrewsbury. 2 2 versus Crewe. Um, was it not Smith? Uh, May. Grandolfo and Louise, look, they scored later on as well. 2-0 um, versus Barnsley. Uh, Gr Grissan and Lelouin. And that was it. So, um, there we go. So, uh, if you look at the league, we're currently sitting top by five points, which is a bit crazy. Um, didn't expect we'd ever be here. Season preview thought we would be third? Fourth, actually. Um, but we're doing pretty well compared for the what well, um, they think of us. 57 goals for, uh, most in the league. And 23 against, least conceded in the league. Best goal difference by way. But yeah, so definitely been playing very, very well. Um, fixtures, we do have actually the North final, first leg and second leg versus Bradford coming up. So hopefully we can win a trophy there. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the squad and the stats. Eight goals. For Abadie Attackers, I'm trying to show you this guy. Look at these stats. He's been improving so much. 875k. He's easily the best player. 8 goals, 16 assists overall. Uh, 9 player of the matches. He's already beat the records for most player matches and assists in the season. Um, and he's all, and he got interest from Olympiacos as well. And he's only 20. Which is a bit crazy. Goals wise, Adam Rooney's still doing very well at the top. Um, every year he's played well for us. Look at that. 13, 15 goals first season when they got relegated the first time. Then 21 goals, 23, and he's 16 already. So definitely very good there. M Morgan's got 7, um, which is pretty good. Grandolfo's got uh, 10. Uh, Grissan's got 6, who's fitting well. Uh, Lewin's got 4, actually. Uh, O'Shaughnessy's got a very good average rating, uh, along with um, Abby Takis. 
Um, if we show the league stats, actually, O'Shaughnessy and Abu Diotakis with their average rating, and Abu Diotakis has the average rate, you know, the assist by quite a way at the moment. I actually want to show you Nick Morgan, though. He's only 17, but he's got very good stats there overall. But I'll just show you. Seven goals and two assists in 11 uh, starts for the main team. Under-21s, 16 goals, seven assists, six player of the matches in 10 games. I just want to show you the under-21s um, and their league. So they're currently sitting second uh, behind Tranmere. But if you just look, 50 goals scored. So I just want to show you this. Their fixtures, 9-2 versus Newport County, 5-4 versus Staley Bridge, 9-0 versus Vauxhall, 6-4 versus Newport County. It's insane. And they lost 5-1 as well. It's just, I don't I don't know how they've done it. They're just scoring out for fun, really, which is a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, so um, today, actually, we have um, Port Vale to play. So uh, this is the team we're going to go with. They're currently sitting in the relegation zone, but they are quite a good team, actually. Got Ian Turner in goal. We really do need to look for a replacement goalkeeper and he's actually wanted by a few clubs because he's been playing so well so uh, Robin Yates uh, right back Kike and O'Shaughnessy centre backs Grounds on the left Le Lewin um, left back actually I'm going to put Afuzanidis on there we go Le Lewin left back Afuzanidis on the left Abby Diotakis on the right bit of a mouthful there Smith and Misurilis, um centre mids Grendolfo and Rooney up front on the bench Grounds Morgan, Kubala, Tarkowski, Anderson, and Grissan. Zach McGinn, a youth goalkeeper, because we don't really have any goalkeepers, which I really need to look for. Um, but yeah, today we play Port Vale, so we can go straight into it. Uh, they've got quite a good uh, striker in Pope. Um, hopefully, we can, yeah, Tom Pope, we can keep him quiet. Um, going hard, actually. <laughs> um, here we go, I think we go um, balance standard. We go, but yeah, we've definitely been doing very well this season. Um, better than I thought, to be fair. Um, I thought this was going to be a playoffs like attempt this season. Hope maybe luck it out or stay for another season. But this at the moment looks like we could definitely be going up. Just maybe as champions, but hopefully, definitely as um, automatic promotion, which would be very nice because we do need the extra funds to keep players, especially players like Corey Smith. And Abadie attack us as it, as things are going at the moment, um, but yeah. Um, but the thing is, though, our our players aren't being rated very well. Like um, foreigners, especially like Kike and Grassan, they didn't been rated that well by our scouts. I think just because we don't have much knowledge, so they aren't being rated very well. But I don't know. But as Port Vale have a chance here, uh, Pope on the ball. O'Shaughnessy clears though out to Duffy into Falkingham. Williams again. Blocked though by Afi Zanidis doing well there. I shot in the seat, gets clear again. David Meller, a former player of ours, Falkingham on the ball now. Puts it into Scully, into Pope. Blocked by O'Shaughnessy again, well played by him. And Rooney looks to count up. Uh, no, that's the end of the highlight. Williams with the free kick, saved. We haven't had anything so far. God damn, this is annoying. Oh god, this isn't good. Okay, Williams on the ball again. We have, we have, what are we doing? Pope with a near post shot there, and we still haven't had a chance. Port Vela having all the chances when we're at home. Abbey the attack is the corner here. O'Shaughnessy puts it wide. He really should have finished that. He's been playing so well this season. Really should have finished that. Uh, Miserilis in um, is a bit tired, and Kike's also picked up a knock. So it looks like we might make it make some subs, but Grandolfo. With a shot, goes into the keeper's hands. Bournemouth up to 58 points. We're only three points behind them now. They are winning 1-0 uh, over Chesterfield. What kind of goal kick was that? Kike onto Abu Diotakis. He's going to try and go down the wing. Gets into Rooney. Who puts it back to Misurilis. Smith. Back to Kike. Yates. Been playing our starting right back this season. He's been doing pretty well there. Abadi attack is going to make a one down the wing. Got the cross in, not very good. But Rooney on the rebound gets the goal for us. 1 0 up. That's good. Um, back up to um, a five point gap there. Good old Rooney getting us the goals here. He's 
he's just been playing. He's been uh, just a natural goal scorer for us every season. There we go. Cleared out by cards. Not the best cross by Yavadi Attackis, but Rooney there to apply the finish to give us the 1 0 lead here, which is quite essential because we weren't playing that well. Hopefully, they don't cut him back as much. Going to make some subs at half time, I think. Probably Misuris and Kike off uh, for Tarkowski and Grissan as we win the free kick there from Carter. But yeah, definitely. Um, I need to show you my scouting. I'll show you some of the scouting I do uh, in another video. But to try and find these foreigners, it's a long process actually. As we oh okay, that's that's good. From one Greek to another, there two goals in two minutes. Uh, Abu did take us with another cross in. Just show you how lethal he is, really. There he is on the ball, puts a cross in, sort of falls to Aphrodisidis, and puts it into the front post and scores. So it's a good thing I put him on instead of grounds. Um, but yeah, ball straight back in, nearly one straight back for Port Vale there. Um, but leading 2-0 going into half time, it looks like a good position. Looks like Kike is going to be coming off though. Not doing very well. Don't want to risk him really. Um, he's been playing well for us. So we're going to bring on Tarkowski. He's actually a very good player for us. It's just because um, Kike's form has been doing very well that he's on the bench. Uh, so might try Morgan Okubala um, and Grassan. I don't know. There's so many good players to try. Um, really. But... Um, yeah, we're not very English to be fair, but that we are in the lower league, so English doesn't really count as much because we're not in Europe. But I'll be looking to develop our own players as our youth system goes up because we've got our youth system to category three now, but at the moment they're not letting us do anything with youth system or scouting range because they say we don't have enough money. So hopefully getting up into the championship will give us the money to invest in that a bit more because we'll spend a few seasons there before we try for the Premier League. As we nearly get a goal there, O'Shaughnessy barely misses that as it's cleared away. Yates on the ball now. Don't do anything silly, but there's Turner. Yeah, that's definitely a replacement we're looking for. Turner, who's been doing very well for us. Been a great servant, but he's getting a bit old now. As Grandolfo gets a third there. Very good finish by him. And I think that finishes the game off there. Crawley have been doing very well this season, actually. Uh, in the playoffs at the moment. They got promoted as winners from League One last year. Um, doing a lot better than we did, actually. Um, but, yeah, here we go. I think we might make some substitutions, actually, now. Um, here we go. I think I'll take off Miserius and put on Grissan. And I'll put on Morgan up front as a Trequatista. But, yeah, only 17 and he's doing really well. I'm really glad I found him now because I've looked for Wales now and there's not any good players anymore. It's only those sort of first four players of Yates, Anderson, um... Oh, I've completely forgot his name. Jesus Christ, Jackson, that's it. He's, actually, he's been weird. He's been having 3.4k bids from every club over the transfer window, which is, I find really weird because they don't even put any higher bids in. It's always 3.4k. But he's gone on loan for a few months to Scunthorpe um, this season to get some games because we can't really give him games when he's trying to win the league and he's a one-star rating. But hopefully he can improve uh, out on loan and in the under-21s, which is what Morgan's really been doing and Kabbalah because Morgan's been doing amazing in the under-21s, really. But here we go. So just playing with the ball. It's great stuff is what I like to see. But it's not really been... Like, I don't feel like we've been completely in control of first this season. It's been very, like, we've had 12 draws this season, so it doesn't sort of feel like we're completely dominating, really. As Grissant takes the shot there, um, saved by the keeper. But definitely, like, Rooney, Efesinius, and Grandofo. We've got a very multinational team here. Um, we've got Greeks, Slovakians, uh, Croatians, um, Welsh, English, Irish... Um, yeah, and Scottish keeper Tarkowski's English, Spanish from Kike O'Shaughnessy's he's um, Finnish. I think it's he's Finnish. Um, but yeah, that's Smith on the ball there. Last few minutes. Hopefully, maybe we can get another. Uh Lewington tips it wide. Um, but yeah, Bournemouth are winning still. It seems two 0 actually. Yeah, looks like they're going to win their game. But here we go. Clock running out. Grand Dolphin might have another chance right at the end here. Saved by the keeper. I think that might just do it, really. 3-0 um, win there. Very good. 
Um, keeping up with the five point lead. 31 games in now. Uh, yeah. So we've got 15 games left of the season. Uh, very good result there. Afuzinius, man of the match, with a goal and an assist. Um, but yeah. So there we go. Poor Vale now bottom of the league on 29 points. 64 goals against. They're not actually that bad of a team though, really. They've got 44 goals scored, which is up to Rotherham standard up there. It's just they concede so much. But there we go. So... We have the uh, Johnstone Payne's Trophy uh, North Final over two legs versus Bradford coming up next. Um, and the rest of the season. Hopefully we can win some silverware through the Johnstone's Paint Trophy. That would be pretty nice before we might go into the championship. Um, from first silverware actually. And then actually... We, um, it's really weird though because the um, I keep asking for an upgraded scouting range. But they always say you haven't been with us long enough. But I've been with them for a pretty long time I'd say. Um... Here we go, just usual sort of stuff. Um, oh yeah, Charlton in the relegation zone again. They had their manager sacked, and they actually asked us, well not asked us, me to co-manage them again. And Chris Powell is now actually the manager, who was um, the manager that left when I came in. So look at that, how, this is how many managers they've had. They had me, they sacked me, Butcher they sacked him, Matthew left, Adjikins left, McAllister they sacked, and they got Chris Powell again. Just insane. I've actually had quite a few job offers. Um, who have I had ones from? I've had one from Barnsley. I've had one from Bristol City. I've had one from... I had one from Watford, actually. Who were here in 7th. And I decided to decline to stay with uh, Oldham. Which is a bit crazy. Fulham down in Championship. had one from Brentford. Um, had one from Preston. Start of the season. had one from Peterborough. Um, I had quite, quite a few goals there. Craig Purcell from Leeds. Look at this guy. He looks very nice. Um, but yeah. So I will go to the end of the season, guys. Um, there we go. Quite a few games left. Oh, only 15, really. But there we go. I, I'll show you the youth system coming in, but really we don't have anything in there at the moment. If I show you the under-18s, this is the past few years. This is the best we've got, really. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Even if I go... Yeah, look at that. No one there. At all, um, but if we look at our facilities, actually we've got pretty piss poor f facilities. Um, our st no, it's actually gone from a five to a four. So yeah, and poor youth facilities, below average training facilities. But yeah, so yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it's been quite a long episode, so hopefully you've stayed till this point in time. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.